Well, in the last to last video, we looked at NVIDIA RTX and found out how we can chat with our own documents. Now, to get started with NVIDIA RTX, it's pretty easy. It's a chatbot, local chatbot. You can just download it. Once you click on download, we can see that we have this pretty big 11 GB installer and you can just download this and just install this. Now there are some basic requirements that we need uh, for the system to be able to run on your system. The platform that is available current now is for Windows only. You need a pretty good GPU with at least 8 GB of VRAM and a RAM of 16 GB or greater. Operating system is Windows 11. The file size is 11 GB as we have seen. Now in the last to last video we have seen how we can chat with your files where we just need to point the directory to the app and then it's ready for you to ask questions. So chat RTX is a demo app that lets you personalize a GPT large language model connected to your own documents like docs, notes, images and others. In this video specifically we are going to have a look and look at this feature of chat Jit RTX known as the photo and image search in which you can search the image or filter the image based on your prompt. Once you have this downloaded, I would go to this GitHub repo and download a lot of images uh, which are available under this GitHub repo. So I have downloaded all the images here and you can see that it has quite a lot of images here. So these are the images and we are going to do search on these images. Let me show you an example. So we go ahead and go to my start. I say NVIDIA Chat RTX and this will start up NVIDIA Chat RTX. It's going to load up everything, get everything ready. And once it is ready, you are going to see uh, it open on the web browser. So let it load and I will be back in a few seconds okay so we have this now in the last video what you have seen is that we have different models here and this Mistral 7b int 4 is used to chat with the documents so for example we can point uh, this to this folder known as sapiens here and this folder has one file and this is a paper known as sapiens foundation for human uh, vision models now what you can do is we can go ahead and ask questions so what is the document talking about so you can ask general open-ended questions or specific questions to this model and you can see that it gives a pretty good response uh, highlighting the document that it has uh, it has we have uploaded which is on the sapiens folder now this video we are going to look at clip model and this model is used to filter the images that you have. So let's point this model to the image folders that we have. So sample images, uh, images here and just click on select folder. So we have diverted it to this images folder and you can see here it's processing everything it's making sure that everything is ready uh, you know especially preparing the embeddings so that it can do the rag settings the rag implementation there now this is ready we are now ready to ask questions let's ask uh, images with cat maybe and you can see that these are the images which has cat in it so you can see all matches here and you will be directed to the folder here a temporary image folder here and you can see that all these images with, with cats so of course lions are cats as well and it's not 100 percent accurate but it's trying to get the most done now we can put another one let's say horse here and you can see images of horses here so you can quickly filter the images of horses of course it is not 100% perfect but 80% is 
80 to 85 percent we are able to get the answers next uh, let's say woman so we see the images uh, with woman in it next uh, let's say flowers let's say red flowers if we can find anything yeah we do have different red flowers it gives different colors as well but it's able to identify the flowers in the images now in this way if you have tons of images we can pretty easily you know get and filter those images so let's put another one images with baby and you can see that these are images of baby also uh, it's a young cat a young dog so we, we can clearly filter this images using rtx and you can see this is a local implementation you don't need internet connection to make this work now this is a demo app i'm sure there are more integrations going on uh, from nvidia but yeah this is what i have been using for such a long time especially the chat with your files feature but this is another feature for an image search which i thought would be great to share with with you so hit the like button if you like this video stay subscribed and i will see you next time